O thou whose captain I account myself, look on my forces with a gracious eye. Put in their hands thy bruising irons of wrath, that they may crush down with heavy fall the usurping helmets of our adversaries. To thee, I do commend my watchful soul, sleeping and waking. Oh, defend me still. When I was mortal, mine anointed body by thee was plunged full of deadly holes. Think on the tower and me, despair and die. Harry the sixth bids thee despair and die. Let me sit heavy in thy soul tomorrow. Poor Clarence, by thy guile betrayed to death. Tomorrow in the battle, think on me and fall thy as the sword. Despair and die. Despair. Let me sit heavy upon thy soul tomorrow. Rivers that died at comfort. Despair and die. Despair and die. Think upon Grey and let thy soul despair and die. Despair and die. Dream on thy cousins smothered in the tower. Thy nephew's souls bid thee despair and die. Despair and die. Bloody and guilty. Guiltily awake, and in a bloody battle end thy days. Think on Lord Hastings. Despair and die. Despair, Despair and die. Richard, thy wife, that wretched Anne, thy wife, that never slept a quiet hour with thee, now fills thy sleep with perturbations. Tomorrow in the battle, think on me and fall thy edgeless sword. Despair and die. Die. Despair. 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 And die. The first was I that helped thee to the throne. <laughs> the last was I that felt thy tyranny. Oh. In the battle, think on Buckingham and let thy soul despair. Dream on. Dream on of bloody deeds and death. Thinking despair. despair. Despairing, yield thy breath. Despair and die. Despair and die. Richard, despair and die. Richard, awake, awake, and win the day. Give me another horse. Give me another horse. Bind up my wounds. Have mercy, Chase. Oh, soft. I did but dream. Oh, coward conscience, how dost thou afflict me? The nights burn blue. It is dead midnight. Cold, fearful drops stand on my trembling flesh. Myself? There's none else by. Richard loves Richard. That is, I am I. Is there a murderer here? No. Yes. I am. Then fly. What? From myself? Great reason why. Lest I revenge. What? Myself upon myself? <laughs> Alas, I... I love myself. <laughs> Wherefore? For any good that I myself have done unto myself? Alas, I rather hate myself for hateful deeds committed by myself. I am a villain. I lie, I am not. Fool of thyself, speak well. Fool, do not flatter. <laughs> My conscience hath a thousand several tongues, and every tongue brings in a several tale, and every tale condemns me for a villain. I shall despair. 
There is no creature loves me. And if I die, no soul will pity me. And wherefore should they? Since that I myself find in myself no pity to myself. Methought the souls of all that I had murdered came to my tent, and every one did threat tomorrow's vengeance on the head of Richard. My lord, that? who is there? Ratcliffe, my lord. Tis I, Ratcliffe. Oh, Ratcliffe. I have dreamed a fearful dream. Nay, good my lord, be not afraid of shadows. By the apostle Paul, shadows tonight have struck more terror to the soul of Richard than can the substance of ten thousand soldiers. Good morrow, Richmond. How have you slept, my lord? The sweetest sleep in various ah. boding dreams. Uh, Methought their souls whose bodies Richard murdered came to my tent and cried on victory. Uh, how far is it unto the morning, lord? Upon the stroke of four. Why, then tis time to arm and give direction. Sun will not be seen today. The sky to frown and lower upon our army. Not shine today! Arm, arm, my lord, the full vaults in the field! Come, bustle, bustle, every man unto his charge. Let not our babbling dreams affright our souls. Conscience is but a word cowards use. Yeah. Our strong arms be our conscience. Swords our law. Right. March on. Join bravely, let us to it pell-mell. If not to heaven, then hand in hand to her. Yeah. Oh, I have said, loving gentlemen, God and our good cause fight upon our Praise side. God. The prayers of holy saints and wronged souls. Oh, remember, victory. remember who you are to cope with all. A sort of vagabond. Rascals and runaways. Yeah. Whom their oak Lord country vomits forth. Yeah. And who doth lead them but a paltry fellow? Yeah. Oh, truly, gentlemen, a bloody tyrant and a homicide. One raised in blood and one in blood established. One that hath slaughtered those that were the means to help him. Yeah. A milksop. One that never in his life felt so much cold as over shoes in snow. One that hath ever been God's enemy. If we be conquered, let men conquer us. Yeah. Let's whip these stragglers o'er the seas again. Shall these enjoy our lands? No. Lie with our wives. No. Hark, I hear the drum. Let in the name of God and all these rights. Fight, gentlemen of England. Your winning swords. Draw, archers, draw your arrows to the Sound head. drums and trumpets boldly and cheerfully. For your God proud St. George, and friend and victory. Rescue, my lord of Norfolk, rescue, rescue. The king enacts more wonders than a man, daring in opposite to every danger. His horse is slain, all in footy fights. Looking for Richmond at the throat of death. Rescue, my good lord, or the day is lost. A horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse! Withdraw, my lord. I will help you to a horse. Slay! I have set my life upon a cast and will stand the hazard of the tide. I think there be six Richmonds in the field. Five have I slain today instead of him. A horse! A horse, my kingdom for a horse! Richard!
God, in your arms be praised, victorious friends. The day is ours. The bloody dog is dead. A courageous Richmond, well hast thou acquit thee. Lo, here, this long abused royalty and the dead temples of this. This bloody wretch, have I plucked off to grace thy brows with all? Wear it. Enjoy it. And make much of it. Great God of heaven, say amen to all. Amen. amen. But, but tell me, is, is young George Stanley living? He is, my lord, and safe. Proclaim a pardon to the soldiers fled that in submission will return to us. England long hath been mad and scarred herself. The brother blindly shed the brother's blood. The father rashly slaughtered his own son. The son compelled been butcher to the sire. Oh, now let Richmond and Elizabeth the true succeeders of each royal house and let their heirs, God, if thy will be so, Enrich the time to come with swelling, smooth-faced peace, with smiling plenty, and fair, prosperous days. Abate the edge of traitors, gracious lord, that would seek to reduce these bloody days again, and make poor England weep in streams of blood. Now, civil wounds are stopped, and peace lives again, that she may long live here, all say Amen! Amen! amen.